Right, Zoe, when did you um, come to the village then? 1963. And so you, you were married to? Sam Burton. Oh, right, yes. yes. Who was from Perton. Oh, was he? Yes, he was born in Perton. Oh, right. Well, who was at he? Burge End, yes. Oh, at farm. the farm? He was born down there, yeah. yeah. His mum and dad were, what, George and... Hilda Hilton. lived down there then, oh, yes. Right. And then what did they, they moved up to the... Um... They moved up to the pub mm -hmm. for somewhere to live. What, the live and let live? Yeah. Oh, right. They didn't really want to be publicans. No. No. But um, they could rent that yeah. and live there. Oh, right. So George still carried on farming yeah. and Hilda ran the pub. Oh, right. oh, right, okay. And it was only a beer house. Oh, right, yes. So they couldn't sell spirits no. or anything. And they used to get a load of old retired men in lunchtime. Yes. And then in the evening they used to get quite a lot going. Yeah. I think it was a social thing more than anything else. Yeah. It was a big thing when it closed down, wasn't it? They had a big auction or something, I don't know. Don't remember that. No. We were, we, because we didn't use the pub no. as such, No. we were never really no. involved with all the group that, that used went, to go in it. Yeah, you yeah. Know. So when you came to the village, you had a small son. Six weeks old. Andrew, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then did you ever do any work in the village? Well, when Andrew was about three, I went to do field work for my father-in-law, who owned Burge End Farm. Oh, I see. Yes. And he used to come and pick you up in his little green truck and used to clamber up and get in the back. <laughs> oh, it was funny. <laughs> and then we used to do, I don't know which I started doing first. I think it was potatoing. Oh yeah. my! Oh, and it was hard work. I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. What did you have to do then? Well, the tractor went in front and spun the potatoes out, and you went along, and you had to have a galvanised bucket. <laughs> oh, and God, I, well, out came the arnica when you came home because you always got bruises, yeah. you know. And then you worked in twos so that one held the sack and you tipped both tip your buckets in and, and then eventually oh either Sid because Sid, Sid Jarvis as well he worked down there I don't know whether he used to come and pick up the I don't know whether he picked up the sacks or not I can't remember um, and then of course that went on for not too long potatoing really what time of year was potatoing then well it was when well, you were getting September, October mm -hmm. time, and you'd get these mists. Mm. <laughs> you go down, go down there. Sometimes you couldn't see the other side of the field no, anyway. So, no. um, you know, it was yeah. quite yeah. And then in the summer, you did pea picking. Yeah. Right. Which, yes. <laughs> what about pea picking? <laughs> well, I wasn't a good pea picker because I was too. Um, fussy about what I was doing. They said, don't, just pull them and put them in your bucket quick, you know, and then every time you got so many, you got a slip and you were paid by what you picked. Potatoing, you all paid a going rate. Oh, right. How, <laughs> but, did, they, how did the people get paid then? Did it paid down at the farm or what No, happened? no. I went round on my bike <laughs> on Friday evenings and paid the women, right. And honestly, I can't remember all the women that went for him. Because there were so many different farmers in the village. Like my neighbour, she went for somebody completely different to me. Oh, was that Eva Burton? Eva, yeah. yeah. And Chamberlain, as yeah. she was yeah. then, yes. Yeah. And, um, and they all went for different ones, you know, because yeah. they all did field work. Yeah. And well, Hilda Hanscom helped down at the... Oh, end. because Hilda lived next door to Hilda and George at the pub, she was, well, she was fantastic, fantastic woman. What did she do then? She... Everything. Yeah, she could drive a tractor. I did go, I remember going once, and you always went Good Friday, and we went setting potatoes. And Sam said, oh, you'll be able to do that. 
because you're short and you sat on the back and there was this rack went round and you put a potato in each, you know. And that was quite, I didn't mind that job, that was quite easy. Yeah. And often Sam was driving the tractor, you know, and then you went up and down in rows and they set all the potatoes. Did Sam work at the farm then? Oh no, 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 no. What no. did he do? He was a motor mechanic at Bennett's at Letchworth. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And, and what did you do with your money when you... <laughs> well, I used to, because I, I wasn't used to earning and we were living on a very <laughs> tight budget, I used to put my money in a teapot. And once I nearly made tea on it. And I must admit, friends came and I got a bigger teapot out and I went, oh! And they said, what's up? And I said, I nearly... I nearly watered me money and they said what money and I said oh I've got got me field work money in there but um 